moldy old buildings receding into darkness, and everything smells horribly of fish and fish things. Ugh! Boy, am I glad to be here in Fishmouth. Not really. I don't think she has an opinion. Uh, no. It's a kid and her dog staring down at the water. Kids, man. Not a care in the world. I'm afraid talking to little kids is on you while we're on this quest. It's Kitty, my cat. She talks now. Your cat? Um, just a figure of speech. She's as grumpy as usual, but I guess it fits her. Why am I staring at her? Back to adventuring. Hey, kid. Good evening, sir. I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Annie, Annie Pole. This is my doggy woggy Tad. Nice to meet you, Annie and Tad Pole. So, what you up to? Just waiting for my cousin. She was supposed to show up a half an hour ago. It's not like her to be this late. What's your cousin's name? Priscilla. Whoa, really? You, you know her? Maybe. Well, hope she shows up real soon. Yeah, me too. I hope everything's all right. What are you drinking there, Annie? Dolphin's milk. It's really good for you, very nutritious. Yeah, uh, I bet it is. Hey, Annie. Think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Mmm, I would, but I might need to share it with Tad a bit later. See, he's really hungry, and my cousin's running really, really late. Ah, oh, poor Tad. Poor Tad. So he likes milk, huh? Not really. He'd prefer a sandwich. But he'll have to settle for milk, because it's all I've got. Got it. Is everything okay with Tad? What do you mean? Well, his eyes are... Um... Wide apart? Yeah, he just sees more that way. He sometimes misses things coming straight at him, but I keep an eye out for them. That's nice of you. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz. A resounding no! A cornucopia of... You should not be using words you don't know the meaning of. <sighs> A lot of creepy paintings, mostly fishing related. Fishermen, tentacles, barnacles, and greenish people? Okay. Not her type of art. Not my type of art. It's a multi-tool looking thing. They've always intimidated me. Looks over-sophisticated to me. I'm not your personal miniature thief, Buzz. <laughs> miniature. Cute. I can't just swipe one. Better talk to the clerk. They all say Fishmouth. Ew. I agree with the sentiment. I'm not your personal... <laughs> Min I can't just... I went to Fishmouth and all I got was out of there real fast. Appropriate. I miss... <laughs> Cute. Interactive guide on floppy disk. There's something you don't see every day. Must be nice to see CRC error again in this day and age. She can't read floppy disks. She can't read, period. That's what you think. 
I can't just swipe. Some kind of fishmouth themed fridge magnets. Magnets. How do they work? Kitty cares nothing for fridge decorations. I can't just... It's a bottle of really fancy liquor. The label's almost peeled off it. Nah, I don't need her assistance. Well, I won't just swipe the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing the label on the bottle, right? It's the clerk in charge of this tourist info point. He looks, uh, sophisticated? I'll leave you the pleasure of talking. Hello! Good evening, sir, and welcome to our info point. My name's William LQPW Watersworth, and I'm an official representative of the Fishmouth Tourist Board. What can I do for you today, sir? Nice, uh, evening we're having, huh? Nice is not a notion commonly associated with Fishmouth. While the evening, per se, with its undeniable charm and pleasant temperature, would qualify as nice, we are in Fishmouth. Therefore, I submit that it's a horrendous evening. <laughs> okay. You're not from around here, are you, Mr. Watersworth? Oh, I was born here, educated abroad, and returned to my hometown. The Blood link, if you will, is strong with Fishmouthians. I can appreciate that. I'm here to visit Fishmouth for a while. If I may say so, sir, that is a horrible idea. Yeah, I thought I'd... Wh what? Did you just say horrible idea? Why, of course. Fishmouth is a run-down, rotting, almost abandoned mockery of a town. Nothing to visit, the people are anything but hospitable, and... We're really not accepting of strangers during this particular time of year. I thought you represented the Fishmouth Tourist Board. I do. You're a tourist, correct? Am I not informing you, sir? I do not see how this is confusing. You said you're not accepting of strangers this particular time of year. Are you more accepting at other times? No, not really. No. Which part of Fishma do you think is the absolute most repugnant to a visitor? That's got to be this plaza here we're situated in for sure. Really? What about the rest of the town? Oh, just as horrible. No, even more horrible. Thanks for clearing that up. Is it me or are you going out of your way to drive people away from Fishmouth? Oh, we only have the tourist's best interest at heart. The best thing a tourist can do in Fishmouth is not be one. Be one what? A tourist in Fishmouth. Why do you not want me in Fishmouth? Oh, sir, you might have misunderstood. It's not that we don't want you in Fishmouth. We don't really want anyone here, ever. Is that an economically sound attitude you guys are having as a community? It is the will of the majority, sir. Mr. Watersworth, I will come clean. I'm one of the entertainers. What is this you speak of, sir? I don't understand. The festival, Mr. Watersworth. Is this where I pick up my official entertainer license? You are very, very, very early, Mr... Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I uh, wanted to get a feel of the place before my performance. Uh, it's a habit of mine. Don't worry, I've arranged for my stay in advance. Very well, sir. What type of entertainment should I look under? I have this talking cat. All right, let me see here. Mr. Tornston and his horrible singing beast, is it? Sure is. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, what do you know? It does speak. Oh, 
Do make it sing, Mr. Tonston. It's time to stop being so modest, Kitty. The public wants you. Besides, I think Mr. Watersworth needs to be convinced of your singing abilities, lest he just give some imposters our license. Quite right, Mr. Tawson. We will talk about this, Mr. Tornston. What would you do with a fish, Miss Sailor? What would you do with a fish, Miss Sailor? What would you do with a fish, Miss Sailor? Early in the morning. That was. Something, indeed. Memorable, huh? To say the least, sir. Here's your license, Mr. Tornston. Enjoy your stay, and... I know, I know. Keep out of everybody's business. Have a great evening, Mr. Watersworth. Doubtful. Goodbye. Say, you've got these, uh, welcoming gifts here. Crackling father, going away gifts, which we do incur and we do at your earliest convenience. Yeah, what's on offer? You may choose between five options, sir. A jolly good fridge magnet with the inscription, Fish with, not even once. A leather T-shaped shirt that says, uh, I went to fish with and all I got was out of there real fast. Horrible grammar, I know. A coffee mug reading. Fishmith. Yeah. A Fishmith Tourist Attractions Interactive Guide on Floppy Disk. There's really nothing to see, so no point in wasting DVDs on it. And finally, by far the most popular choice, the Fishmith Multi-Tool. Opens anything, provides hints, helps solve puzzles, coerces people to reveal passwords, requires ceremony shaving of head, Stripping down to underwear, slight change of religion, a six month long vow of silence, and a little blood sacrifice. Very useful tool. Which, which one of the five shall it be, sir? I, uh, I can't decide yet. Very well, sir. Do return upon having chosen wisely. That's a promise. Any change of heart about me visiting your lovely town? No. And not a chance of it in the foreseeable future, either. <sighs> Thought I'd check. Be seeing ya. I wish you would reconsider. Good day. Kirei, this might be a weird thing to ask, but remember when I brought lady friends home? Yeah, those were rare enough occasions that I can remember. Oh, I see where you're going with this. I have no interest in that. All the kissy kissy sounds are just... Ugh. I tune them out. Whew, <laughs> good to know. What's a bit harder to tune out are the audio olfactory clues to how your digestive system works. Or rather does so poorly. What? Ugh, just don't fart around me anymore, okay? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. What do you think about the Fishmouth Citizens Brigade? Do you really have to ask? Any ideas on how to get past them? I'd say being ourselves in this situation is not gonna cut it. Impersonation and identity theft. You're pushing me toward a life of crime, cat. Beats being a librarian. Student and librarian, if you please. Oh, I stand corrected. Two fields of activity you'll stay in for a long time. Ugh. Ugh. How you holding up, kitty? Well, I talk now. We just did some voodoo. Now we're in fish people town. At least you're keeping things interesting. I am. It is technically all your fault. <laughs> Mine? It's Dawn's. Anyway, let's hustle. Your fault. What? Time to samba. What do you think of Annie? Well, at least this one doesn't scream. You don't like kids, huh? 
How do you think that would make them feel? Cute furry kitty, not liking them. They shouldn't take it personally. I don't like anyone. Heartless carnivore. Guilty as charged. Still mad about being humanized? Very much so. Okay, just checking. Mr. and Mrs. Webfoot, here's my entertainer's license. Huh. I'll be darned. Horrible singing pet, huh? Hey, didn't you say your name was Kirby or something? Torsten is my stage name. We just might be attending your show, Mr. Torsten. Welcome to Fishmouth. Keep yourself, and don't do no nosing around if you don't have to. Gotcha, Silas. See you folks around. There it is. That's Finman's over there. I don't know, man. It's been all fun and games so far, but this place is giving me the serious creeps. Can't argue with that. As crumbling and decayed as Darkham, maybe a bit more. And there's the stink, too. Really adds to the atmosphere. I might be a poor student slash librarian, but she has some living standards. You couldn't pay me enough to live there. There's a light coming from somewhere down there, but the gate's positively locked. Maybe we're better off this way. I don't really have a reason to, plus it's locked. She doesn't come with a lockpick feature. It has reached its final destination. It shall pollute no more. It's leaking oil like crazy. She could care less about it. It's not taking me anywhere. It's a fishbut citizen enjoying his sandwich. He looks surprisingly peaceful. She has nothing to say. Good evening, good sir. Evening, stranger. The name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Nope, that's wrong, I'm afraid. The name's Milton. Milton the Mechanic. N no, I mean my name's Buzz. I didn't know they named kids Buzz anymore. I thought that was considered cruel and unusual. <sighs> The Mechanic? Is that your surname? Yes, sir. Maybe you heard of us if you're from around Miskatonic. We're a distant offshoot of the Kingsport the Plumbers. They hate our guts. Sorry to hear that. Nothing to be sorry about. We hates their guts, too. Just straight up gut hating back and forth. Always been the way in our clan. It's nice to have traditions. Sure is. Is this your truck you're sitting next to? Sure was. It's dead now. Bleeding oil all over the road like them, like them zebras, you know, on National Zoo TV. Them poor, poor striped horses. Uh... Used to watch them shows a lot as a kid. Always got to me how them critters was meeting their end. I mean, a lion's gotta eat, but us humans? Man, we can do better than that. I made me a choice back then. You became a vegetarian? Hell nah! In Fishmouth? You crazy? We put fish in everything here. Nah, I swore off zebra meat forever. Never felt better, never felt the need for it. But yeah, the truck's mine. So are you doing anything about the truck? Nothing. Sitting here, hopeless, despairing. Eating my tasty fish sandwich. Bon appetit. Nah, it's just tuna. Are you gonna eat your second sandwich? Now that's a very personal question, Mr. Curlin. What of it? 
I uh, would like to have it. You would, wouldn't you? Well, I tell you what, I'll trade you for it. What do you have in mind? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps? Yours? Huh? Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I don't know what came over me when playing these dark sci-fi adventure games. They've been messing with me. True as I'm sitting here and telling you. Murder simulators. Awful stuff. Indeed. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Get me something refreshing, and you got the sandwich. I think you'll like this can of Dr. Fisher. Why, I sure will. Dr. Fisher's trademark. My favorite. This gonna go down real good once I'm done with my sandwich. Made with the finest, most odorous fish muth water. Mm-mm. A deal's a deal, Mr. Kremlin. Here's your sandwich. Enjoy. Thanks, Milton. Enjoy your other sandwich. What can you tell me about Fishmouth? Well, I don't know how you made it in, but the sooner your non-local hides is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order... The order? Mm, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. Yeah, that's what I hear. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. <laughs>